I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Ms. Fountain channel, your go-to destination for insightful and engaging education content. Here, we explore a wide range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with the carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we're going to look at uh, digital forensics. We're going to begin with a, a definition of digital forensics. Find that uh, digital forensics is the preservation, identification, extraction, interpretation, and documentation of computer evidence which can be used in the court of law. Uh, digital forensics is often used for the investigations of crimes that involve technology. And the first practical application of digital forensics was in the year 1986. It was used to capture Hakamaka's hairs. We have uh, sub-disciplines of uh, digital forensics. And the first one is computer forensics, which is the identification, preservation, collection, analysis, and reporting of evidence found in computers, storage media, or storage media, laptops, it is see, in support for or in support of investigation and legal proceedings. The second subdiscipline is a uh, network forensics, which uh, is the monitoring, the capture, storage, and analysis of network activities or events in order to discover the source of security attacks, intrusions, etc. The third subdiscipline is mobile device forensics which is the recovery of electronic evidence from mobile phones, SIM cards, tablets, game consoles, it is seen. And the fourth subdiscipline is digital image forensics, which is the extraction and analysis of digitally acquired photographic images to validate their authenticity by recovering the metadata of the image file to ascertain its history. And the fifth subdiscipline of digital forensics is digital video or audio forensics, which is the collection, analysis, and evaluation of uh, or is the collection, analysis, and evaluation of sounds and video recordings, and this is to establish whether it is original or have been tampered with. The sixth subdiscipline of uh, for digital forensics is memory forensics, which is the recovery of evidence from uh, the RAM of running computer and it's also called a uh, live acquisition and the sixth or i mean the seventh subdiscipline of digital forensics is a uh, cloud forensics which is an application within digital forensics which oversees the crime committed over the cloud and investigates on it and to look at uh, technologies that have inspired the rise of digital forensics and the first one is a uh, logic is the is logic cube which was created in the year 1993 and it is one of the leading digital forensic hard drive data recovery technology it's widely used by uh, cybercrime experts and corporate security personnel it also provides mainly hardware based solutions but do not have a uh, software solutions that is logic cube the second technology is uh, dibs which was initiated in the early 90s it is hardware and software specifically designed to copy analyze and present computer data in a forensically sound manner and that is access data which is a pioneer in a digital investigation since 1987 and it provides state of the Add cyber security, password cracking, e-discovery, as well as uh, decryption solutions. We need to look at uh, methods of digital forensics. That is uh, the general process. The general the general process, and the first one is verification. And in this, the we verify all uh, forensic scientists verify that incident has taken place they gather specifics about it to figure out the best approach the second one is system description they gather data 
about uh, the system you're going to analyze outline the information like a uh, disk format the os the location of the evidence and the third stage is uh, evidence acquisition uh, identify possible sources of data acquire volatile and non-volatile data it's important to know that volatile data should be gathered first as it changes over time then create a, a bitstream image from the hard drive followed by verification of data's integrity the other one is timeline analysis that is the fourth uh, and in this scientists gather information about what time target files were, ac were accessed changed or even created where applicable and it can be automatically done with a variety of tools the fifth one is media and artifact analysis uh, in this they figure out what programs were executed what files were downloaded or clicked or even deleted they do memory analysis they do memory analysis to be able to examine raw processes process paths as well as uh, user handles and the sixth one is string or byte search and this step consists into using tools that will search the low low level raw images and the seventh one is data recovery and there are several tools that can be used to analyze the file system data layer metadata layer it is and the eighth one is reporting results reporting the steps and results of the analysis is what happens in that stage to look at the benefits of digital forensics and it helps solve uh, cases that involve one theft of uh, intellectual property and this pertains to any act that allows access to maybe patient that is a patient data trade secrets customer data as well as any other confidential information the other type of case that helps solve is a uh, financial fraud which pertains to anything that uses fraud in solicitation of victims information to conduct fraud rent transactions and another case that uh, digital forensics helps in solving is hacker system penetration which is taking advantage of vulnerabilities of systems or software and the fourth case is a uh, distribution in execution of maybe viruses challenges faced by digital forensics find that uh, we have easy availability of hacking tools and this is going to increase that the number of cases to deal with also there is lack of physical evidence makes uh, crimes harder to prosecute we also have uh, rapid technological changes that require constant upgrades or changes to solutions we have a uh, increase of uh, pcs or in internet access which has made uh, the exchange of information quick and inexpensive therefore that is going to affect or increase the crime rate also we have a uh, evolving privacy and data protection regulations these regulations keep on changing day by day which may add to the complexity of obtaining digital evidence also some hardware level encryption can cause the device to erase the data in the case of uh, in the case of tampering those are some of the challenges faced by digital forensics and now let's look at uh, the future of digital forensics one there's an increasing wide uh, array of tools used to preserve and analyze digital evidence also huge targets will require more sophisticated analysis techniques and equipment you also find that the single approach to utilize single evidence e.g hard drives will change as there is a uh, increasing size of hundreds of gigabytes and terabytes to be used also another feature of digital forensic 
digital forensics is that there will be a better collaborative function to allow to allow forensic investigators to perform investigation a lot more efficiently than they do presently that is uh, the future of digital forensics and that is the end of our session thank you for joining us we hope you've gained valuable insights and knowledge from today's video don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content remember learning never stops until next time stay curious and keep exploring